Pig, would you like to be my friend? Peppa cannot wait to tell everyone her news. Mummy, Daddy, George! Hello, Peppa. Hello, Peppa. I'm so excited. Why is that, Peppa? I'm going to meet my new friend. A new friend? Yes. And who might this new friend be? I don't know. They're new, silly. <laughs> I'm going to show them Snowy Mountain, the beach, everything. Even Potato City. Peppa is excited to play with her new friend and explore all the brilliant places in her world. That's a good idea, Peppa. Yes, Daddy. It's going to be so much fun. So when is your new friend coming to play, Peppa? Very soon. I can't wait to play with them. Dinosaur. It looks like Mr. Dinosaur wants to play with Peppa's new friend, too. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Mr. Bull. What's going on here? Hello, family. Hello, children. We are in the middle of doing some repairs on this road. What happened to the old road? There were some bumps caused by the tree's roots nearby, which made it dangerous to drive through. Not to worry. Mr. Rhinoceros and I will take care of it. I'm sure you're very busy. We'd better be on our way. Hmm. Is there a way to go through? Oh, yes! You can drive right by the road. Be careful. Oh, I see. Thank you. Goodbye, Mr. Bull. Goodbye, Mr. Rhinoceros. Thank you for fixing the road. You have arrived at the playgroup, a place to learn and play with Pepper and her friends. Hello everyone, this is my new friend. Hello! Today is a very special day. Do you know what day it is? Is it your birthday? No, it's not my birthday, Danny. Anyone else want to guess? How about you? Good guess! Today is sports day. Whoa! What is sports day? Sports day is a very important day. Everyone must do sports today, so we can all stay healthy. Let's go to the running track. Ooh! All right, children, start running on my count. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> Pepper, and your friend is very fast. One last effort, 
catch him then. You're almost at the finish line. <laughs> Congratulations! You all did a very good job. You all deserve a trophy today, don't you think, Peppa? Susie? Pedro? And you too, of course. I hope we all learned about the importance of sports today. But can we still run if it's not sports day? Oh, of course. You can always run. Running is fun. <laughs> <laughs> Your friend are already here. Ah, Peppa, I see you and your friend are already here. Lovely. It will look great on Pepper's wall. Lovely! It will look great on Pepper's wall. Three, two, one. Splendid. Now we go from big to small. Two, one, three. Now it's all jumbled up. Uh, why don't you try it again? One, two, three. This goes from small to big. Very good. Peppa, I see you and your friend are already here. Let's go this way. Ah, Peppa. I see you and your friend are already here. Ah, Peppa! I see you and your friend are already here. Ah, Peppa! I see you and your friend are already here. Why don't we say hello to Madame Gazelle?
Let's keep looking. <laughs> Look, George! It's an enormous dinosaur! Dinosaur! Oh, yes, George. It's a real dinosaur. One that lived many, many years ago. <laughs> dinosaur! <sighs> Are you with us, George? Dinosaur! It seems that George has found his favourite room. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. Are you here to join me on the trip to the moon? Jump aboard the rocket train. Mr. Rabbit is the tour guide. He knows a lot about the universe. Are we really going to the moon? No, Pepper. It's just pretend. That's right, Pepper. It's just a pretend moon. Now, all passengers, hold on tight to your seats. We're about to take off. Three, two, one, blast off! All right then, does anybody know what these things hanging from the ceiling are? Are they planets? Precisely. And do you know the name of the planets? Oh, um, not really. Oh, I know one, the Earth! Very good, Daddy Pig. This is the Earth, we also have Venus. Mars, Neptune. What's that? Ah, this is a satellite. Satellites fly around the world so we can have TVs and the internet. Really? But how do they do that? It's all magic. And we've reached the end. Please exit the rocket and continue to the next room where you'll see the moon. Welcome to the moon. Gravity on the moon is much weaker, so we can jump much higher. Ooh. The moon has less gravity than the Earth, which means you'd feel lighter and be able to jump higher. Try it out, strap in, and jump up. It's a wonderful day to get some good views from up in the hot air balloon. Yes, please! <laughs> well, hello, little bird. What are you doing here? Has it come to sing a song to us? I don't know. Have you, little bird? Chirp, chirp. Goodbye, little bird. Come visit us soon.
we'll find out. Daddy Pig and George have come to have a lovely picnic in the forest. <laughs> what a wonderful day to have a picnic in the forest. Come on, let's find a nice spot to sit down and have lunch. How about we go that way? This place seems about right, doesn't it? Can I have the basket, Daddy Pig? Oh, um, yes, of course. What's wrong, Daddy Pig? Your face has gone very red. I, um, I think I have left the picnic basket in the car. Oh, no. We will have to go and get it then. Perhaps you and Peppa could head back to the car and bring the basket. Of course, Mummy. We'll be back in no time. Daddy Pig has left the picnic basket in the car. They need you to go back and get it for them. Let's go back to the car and get the picnic basket. Here's the basket. It smells delicious. Thank you, you two. Let's all take a seat now. Oops. I guess I'm a bit hungry. <laughs> Good job. You brought the picnic basket back. And now Peppa's family can enjoy a delicious lunch in the forest. This goes here. This goes there. And... Voila! <laughs> <laughs> These sandwiches are delicious, Daddy Pig. Yes, Daddy. Why, thank you. How about you? Do you like them? But it seems there's only Daddy's sandwich left. Oh. Daddy, Daddy! We have to give them some food! Oh, all right. 
There you go, ducks. I'm Sue. Well, at least someone is. <laughs> oh, Daddy, you're always a bit What a lovely spot for camping. Ah, Peppa, I see you and your friend are already here. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Hello Peppa. Peppa. Hello, Hello Peppa's, Peppa's friend. friend. Hello, everybody. Children, children, now that we're here, you need to pitch your tents. And we need someone to collect sticks for the campfire. We'll do it, Madame Gazelle. We'll collect the sticks. Madame Gazelle has asked you to collect sticks so she can build a campfire. Follow Peppa and help her get enough sticks for the campfire. Sticks, sticks, sticks. We need to collect lots of sticks. Got one. I need a few more sticks. Would you get them for me? Should be enough. Let's get back to Madame Gazelle. Ah, oh, excellent job. Now, why don't you pitch your tent while I prepare the campfire? Children, who wants to hear a song? Me. 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 Okay, then. Ooh, we're playing a 
tune and we're singing a song with a bing and a bong and a bing. It's a wonderful day to get some good views from up in the hot air balloon. Yes, please. Try not to bump into anyone else on the rink.
too cold, this rabbit will take us back in the balloon. Let's go this way. wants to build a snowman. You will find all the parts you need in the snow. Follow me. I think these will be good for you. Be careful. Don't go down the hill too fast. Have fun. I'm right behind you. <laughs> I think these will be good for you. Be careful. Don't go down the hill too fast. Have fun. I'm right behind you. <laughs> It's a wonderful day to get some good views from up in the hot air balloon. Yes, please! Well, hello, little bird. What are you doing? I don't know. Have 
you, little bird. Chirp, chirp. Goodbye, little bird. Come visit us soon. Thank you. 